and there will be more than 9100 Cincinnati public school students who will ride Metro buses this school year. That's an increase of nearly 1800 kids from last year. And it's because many 7th and 8th graders will no longer have the option to in fact ride yellow school buses to and from school. WCPO 9 News anchor Brent Bugansky live at Government Square tonight for us. So Brett, there are a lot of concerns about the spike in the demand, but also the safety. At some point out just by the numbers alone that this could be problematic. Just take for Government Square, for example, there are some concern that there could be hundreds, maybe even thousands more people riding Metro bus this school year alone. And for some riders, they're just concerned about having a spot on the bus, but also getting to where they need to go on time. I got to alter my whole schedule during the school season so I can get me a seat. If you ask Thomas Craddock from Avondale, it's really very inconvenient for senior people. Riding Metro during the school year is something you need to plan for. Then I come downtown on my way back home about 2.33 o'clock, it's mad dash and it's got to just pack, pack, pack for school children. He's also aware nearly 2,000 more Cincinnati public school students will also be riding Metro this year, as many 7th and 8th grade students can no longer take yellow buses to and from school. This was a hard decision. A decision to cut $9 million from the district's budget as it continues with financial problems. I think the biggest concern I have is just the timing and how little time there's been for families. Board member Ben Lindy brought up the letter City Manager Cheryl Long sent to the district, not only bringing up safety concerns and referencing the recent government and square attacks caught on camera, but adding how cutting yellow bus services adds more of an influx downtown, putting a strain on businesses and police. I'm not going to have us uh, send our people to go do somebody else's responsibility. Board President Eve Bolton also responded to the city's request for the district to have staff members at buses and transit centers. I was very concerned about her words and language. It's something community activist Iris really took issue with as her team has spent the last four months in Government Square speaking with young people and listening about their concerns while also trying to cut down on violence. Because they belong, they should be able to go. It shouldn't be the conversation of children should not be downtown. That's not what we should be doing. As for the new Metro riders. I'm not handicapped, but I got a bad knee. Thomas had some advice about common courtesy, self-awareness, and keeping people like himself in mind. I look down like that and they got their book bag here and they sit there. That's a whole empty seat to the book bags right now. The book bag ain't paid no fare. And kind of going back to safety here, Metro released a video in just recent days for all the new riders who are going to be riding this school year. And one of the big pieces of advice they gave was if you're going to be walking to a bus stop, never walk alone, always have a partner here. And the other thing that they were encouraging, talking about the timing of everything, is download that transit app. Therefore, you get a better idea of when your bus is going to arrive and when you're going to get to your destination. We are live downtown tonight. Brett Bogansky, WCPO 9 News. Great ideas. Thank you, Brett.